We had some precip move through late last night through early this morning. Some rain showers, but also some ice as well. Some ice pellets were into the mix, so generally less than a tenth of an inch of liquid precipitation. Take a look at these live wind chills right now up towards Copan at 1214. The feels like in Tulsa, 17 in Oak Mulgee, and 13 in Oilton. The wind chill forecast over the next couple of hours, they will continue to drop and then go up just a little bit overnight tonight, but still some dangerously cold wind chills. Improvement comes in tomorrow on your Tuesday as we have a healthy south wind on the way and improving here on the low temperature trend. So tomorrow morning down to 17 degrees. The feels like even lower than that. We have 30s for Wednesday morning, but then what a difference. Low 50s on the way for Thursday, lower 40s for Friday and Saturday. A live look here at Wade's RV in Glenpool at Highway 75. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network. Still some clouds into the mix. These lower clouds will clear out over the next hour to two, but a nice glow there from the sunset just a few minutes ago at 515. 24 degrees is the current temperature. Today we maxed out at 42 at the Tulsa International Airport. The high temperature today occurred just after 1030, and the low temperature for the day is actually the current temperature. Take a look at those numbers now. Low 20s up towards Bartlesville and Coffeyville, 25 in Pryor and low 20s in Grove around Grand Lake. So there goes that powerful cold front that dropped our temperatures this afternoon and early this evening. And there's that cloud cover that will move off towards the southeast. But some higher clouds will come down from the northwest over the next couple of hours. So partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Those lower clouds departing over the next couple of hours, then clearing. Then those additional clouds as we saw in the satellite picture. It looks great for tomorrow on your Tuesday with some cloud cover hanging tough early in the morning and then clearing skies for mid to late morning and sunny skies expected for the afternoon across eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas. So make sure to have those sunglasses ready to go tomorrow. 17 degrees is our forecast low. The winds easing up tonight becoming a variable direction between about 5 and 10 miles per hour with lows up towards the north closer to 10 but of course down into the single digits for those wind chills closer to 20 degrees especially towards the south to the south of Interstate 40. Then for tomorrow what a change no dropping temperatures tomorrow 47 degrees with a healthy south wind gust upwards of around 30 miles per hour and again clearing skies early in the morning. Daytime highs from the upper 30s in southeast Kansas to the mid 40s down towards the south including Stigler at 45 degrees and 43 in McAllister. Your latest 10 day forecast into the upper 50s. What a difference there on Wednesday but windy on Wednesday with wind gusts upwards of around 45 miles per hour. 53 on up to 65 on Thursday and still some breezy winds. Helping to plan your day tomorrow, clearing skies at 820 degrees, mid 30s during the lunch hour, but 45 degrees at 5. And your latest extended forecast here for Friday into the upper 50s, upper 50s all the way through the weekend. Rain chances have diminished Friday through Saturday. That system looks to be mainly to the east of our forecast area. But it looks like now we'll see some rain showers on Monday with those high temperatures into the 50s as we ring in the new year.